Welcome to Bruce Lee Real Fight Channel. What you have just seen is ultra rare footage of a martial arts legend, Bruce Lee, and world karate champion Chuck Norris standing in the same fighting ring in 1967 at Madison Square Garden. Chuck Norris was already a karate champion at the time, while the 27 year old Bruce Lee was just a kung fu teacher from Auckland. However, Chuck Norris was shocked by Bruce Lee's kicking power and speed on the stage. In early 1968, Chuck Norris suffered the 10th and final loss of his career, and he thought about this little China man from Auckland. He then went on to train with Bruce Lee in his backyard. As a result, he won the Professional Middleweight Karate Championship title for six consecutive years. From that point on, Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris developed a strong friendship until Bruce Lee left the US to pursue his acting career in Hong Kong. In 1972, Chuck Norris was invited by Bruce Lee to play his nemesis in Way of the Dragon. Not only did the film gross over 5.3 million Hong Kong dollars, but the fight scene between Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris is also widely regarded as one of the most iconic martial arts battles of all time. Both of these legends have left an indelible mark on the world of cinema and combat sports, leading fans worldwide to wonder what would happen if they fought for real. Who would win in a no holds bar fight, Bruce Lee or Chuck Norris? Let's delve deeper into this question. The relationship between Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris was very close. Chuck Norris mentioned this in several interviews after Bruce Lee's passing in 1973. He recalled training with Bruce Lee in his backyard for a couple of years until Bruce left for Hong Kong to pursue his movie career. Yeah. They're not fighting each other. No, you know, I was a, I was a professional fighter. <laughs> and he was not. He no, was a... mm -hmm. but he was good. He was good. So you could have beaten him. Well, I don't even know. I, yeah, I didn't want to go there. I didn't go, and Bruce just, didn't want to. You're being modest. Want, Bruce didn't want to go there, and I didn't want to go there. And but anyway, we worked out together. According to Chuck Norris, they eventually tested each other's combat skills, but they did not go there. As you can see from Chuck Norris' interview, it's evident that he is holding something back. What could he be hiding? If he had won a fight against Bruce Lee, we believe he would have said so but he kept mentioning that he and Bruce Lee did not want to go there. What does go there mean? Bruce didn't, want, Bruce didn't want to go there and I didn't want to go there. In our Bruce Lee collection, we have a few rare footage clips of Bruce Lee training with some of his popular students, including Steve McQueen, Mike Stone, and Joe Lewis, among others. Unfortunately, we couldn't find any footage capturing moments between Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris together. Perhaps there is some footage with Bruce Lee's wife, Linda Lee? On the other hand, there are numerous photos of their time together. For instance, there is a shot of Chuck Norris delivering an elbow strike to Bruce Lee's stomach or a moment where Norris, in his karate uniform, receives instruction from Bruce Lee in a room. This rare footage of Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris in the fighting ring at Madison Square Garden shows Bruce Lee demonstrating his skills. He was showing his high kicks while Chuck Norris stood by. Bruce Lee explained to Chuck Norris that in a real fight, he would kick the closest target, usually the knee, because you have to end it as quickly as possible. Therefore, Bruce Lee didn't believe in high kicks but he performed them for the audience and for movies because they are flashier and more exciting. And Bruce had different philosophies at that time than I did. And uh, he said, uh, I believe in only kicking below the waist. I believe that you shouldn't go any higher than the waist. I believe that you shouldn't go any higher than the waist. And I said, well, that's good and it's bad, Bruce. You should be able to have the ability to kick anywhere. In that way, if you only want to go low, that's fine. But if, you, if, there, if there's an opening high, then you should be able to take advantage of it. The other clearer footage of Chuck Norris fighting Bruce Lee is from the iconic fight scene in the 1972 film, Way of the Dragon. 
The entire fight lasts about 6 minutes, which closely mirrors a real fight between two well-trained men. The scene begins with both of them removing their shirts and stretching before the fight. We can see that Bruce Lee's physical fitness is extraordinary compared to Chuck Norris. Bruce Lee's abs, latissimus, biceps and triceps are incredibly strong and his flexibility is unmatched. On the other hand, Chuck Norris, while good, doesn't have the same visible muscle definition. The fight begins with Bruce Lee throwing three high kicks at Chuck Norris, who returns with three high kicks of his own. After exchanging a few high kicks and testing each other, Bruce Lee is hit by Chuck Norris' spinning round kick and falls to the floor. Chuck Norris is 1.74 meters tall and weighs 70 kilos, while Bruce Lee is 1.72 meters tall and weighs 64 kilos at that time with a 6 kg weight difference between them. The fight continues with Bruce Lee at a disadvantage. However, Bruce Lee's fans notice that he seemed to slow down intentionally, allowing Chuck Norris to land punches on him to make the scene look better. The situation changes when Bruce Lee starts using Muhammad Ali's shuffle. This is where we see Bruce Lee's true fighting skills. Chuck Norris isn't even able to touch him because Bruce Lee is just too fast. Bruce Lee lands 5 kicks in quick succession on Chuck Norris. After attacking Norris with punches and kicks, Bruce Lee ends the fight with a guillotine choke. Although Chuck Norris didn't admit to have a real fight with Bruce Lee, he always said Bruce Lee was incredibly fast and skilled and nobody could even touch him in a real fight. Jim Kelly a karate champion also mentioned that he knew who Bruce Lee sparred with and that Bruce Lee kicked his butt. I, I, I don't, I, there's stories I know about Bruce Lee that I don't even share <laughs> because I have more I have respect for the people, other people in the martial arts. And I, it's not necessary for me to name names. I know, I know who Bruce Lee sparred with. Yeah. I know. They won't tell you. But I know people he sparred with. I never mention their names either. But Bruce Lee was untouchable. Yeah. Joe Lewis, an American professional kickboxing champion, said, Bruce Lee used to play with us. I could move around him, but I knew he was just too fast for any of us. So, who do you think would win in a no holds bar all out real fight? Chuck Norris or Bruce Lee? Please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching Bruce Lee Real Fight YouTube channel and we will see you in the next video soon.